Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path which is located in Forest City, North Carolina. For today's video, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I actually had another video planned for this week, um, but I posted a thing on our Facebook page. Uh, I posted a picture of a 3D heart, um, a different version from last week, and everybody had a fit for it and wanted to uh, me to do a tutorial for that 3D heart. So today I'm going to do the tutorial for the heart and then we'll pick back up on our regular schedule for next week. But basically to do the heart today, what you're going to need is 44 four millimeter bicones. If I remember correctly, you're going to need 65 or 67 three millimeter bicones. You're going to need two needles. I'm going to use um, a size 10 needle. You can use size 12 if you, the 10s are a little tight for you to cross through the 3s. Um, then you're going to need 6 pound fire line. Now we've tried 6 pound, 8 pound, and 10 pound. Um, 6 pound um, works to me the best so far. Um, the 10 pound, one of my uh, ladies in our free class tried it Saturday. And um, the only part was that the knots were a little bigger. So that's the only thing. So 6, 8, 10 pound, whatever you have laying on your bead table will work. It just needs to correspond with whatever color, you know, the light or the dark for either your light or your dark beads. So you're going to need that. And then besides that, the only other thing you'll need is whatever you choose to do your actual necklace in. Um, so get your materials together and then we'll go ahead and get started with a new version of the 3D heart. Okay, to get started, you want to put a needle on each end of a one yard piece of thread. Now, to do the total project, I'm going to be using two one yard pieces of thread, and then I'm going to have one piece that's a yard and a half long, okay? But for right now, I'm taking one piece that is one yard long, and I have a needle on each end. Now, some people are going to say, oh my gosh, she's doing a black heart, you know, <laughs> she's like depressed or something, but that's not it. Um, one of the girls who was actually in our free class on Saturday made a heart that was black and metallic blue and it was really 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 pretty so I wanted to make one um, for a sample today. Um, my four millimeters I'm going to be using are Jet and they are Preciosa crystals. The three millimeters that I'm going to be using are um, called blue light and they are actually what's called a thunder polished crystal. I love these little crystals. They come in these cute little bottles that you know you can use to store your beads in and I like to line them up on my shelf so I can see all the colors that I have but you get 144 in a bottle and we sell them for $5.99 a bottle. So they're real cost effective. Um, they're you know not Swarovski so if you're like a Swarovski snob then you know you wouldn't want to use them but I I love these. We sell a ton of these at our store and so you can find these on our Etsy site and we do sell out of these very quickly in our actual store so we'll have an ever-revolving um, uh, inventory of them on Etsy so you can check those out in our Etsy store. But to get started I'm going to be using my four millimeters and I'm going to take one needle you know, if you're left-handed, use your left hand. If you're right-handed, use your right. You know, it's pretty much the same way if you're left or right-handed. But I'm going to pick up <clears throat> three four-millimeter bicones, and I'm just going to let those drop down onto the needle or onto the thread. Now, I'm going to pick up one four-millimeter bicone with one needle, and I'm going to pull it off of the needle just a little bit. And then I'll take my other needle, and I'm going to cross through it so then I'm going opposite ways. Now on just this very first one, I'm going to put my needles together and I'm going to pull the crystal straight down. Now what this does is this gets my little square of four that I just made right into the very center of my thread. Now we're going to be using threes and fours at this point. So if you're left-handed, pick up your three millimeter on your left hand if you're right-handed, pick up the three millimeter on your right hand, okay? 
And another little thing, and you'll kind of see as we go, but whichever needle you're going to pick up the three millimeters on, that is the side you will always pick up the three millimeters on. Okay, so I'm right handed, so right hand I'm going to pick up a three millimeter, left hand I'm going to pick up a four millimeter, and then with one needle, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to pick up one four millimeter, and I'm going to cross my needles opposite ways through this one four millimeter, and pull. And keep your tension nice and tight. So now, and I'm going to try and zoom in just a little bit here. Maybe you can see it just a little better. But these little three millimeters are what's going to give us our good curve for the heart. So here you can see we've added our first three millimeter. So now I'm going to do the same box five more times so that I will have a total of six three millimeters here on the side. So again, the side that you picked up the three millimeter on, which is this side here, will always pick up the three millimeter on that side. So right hand picks up my three, left hand picks up my four, and I let those drop. And then on one needle, doesn't matter which, I'm gonna pick up one four millimeter, and I'm gonna cross my needles opposite ways through the four millimeter. And again, you want to keep your tension kind of nice and tight. So here we have, I've got my two threes. Okay, right hand picks up a three. Left hand picks up a four. And then with one needle, doesn't matter which, I'm going to pick up a four. And I'm going to cross opposite ways through it. And like I said, we were going to repeat this box five times so that we have a total of six three millimeters there on the side. So, so far I have two, four, five, three millimeters. So I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, so that gives me two, four, six, three millimeters there. Now I'm going to do two more boxes, and these boxes are going to be all four millimeters. So right hand picks up a four, left hand picks up a four, and then on one needle, I'm going to pick up a four millimeter, and I'm going to cross my needles opposite ways through this one bead. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. Right hand picks up a four, left hand picks up a four, and then with one needle, I'm going to pick up a four, and I'm going to cross opposite ways through it. Alright, so that now, this is what you should have thus far. We are actually ready to make our bottom point. This here is our middle point, and it'll actually, when we get ready to connect it, be more like this. So we're ready to do our bottom point. So my outside needle, that's the one here that is opposite these three millimeters, is gonna pick up two four millimeters. So in other words, my left hand needle here, I'm gonna do two four millimeters. My right hand needle picks up one four millimeter, and I'm going to cross my needles opposite ways through that one four millimeter there on the right. So that now I've got this side done, and I'm going to be working back now to the other side. We're going to do a mirror image of this side, so I'm going to do two boxes of four millimeters. So with each needle, I'm going to pick up a four millimeter. And then with one needle, I'm going to pick up a four and cross opposite ways through it. I'm going to do that once more. So each needle picks up a four. Then with one needle, I'm going to pick up a four millimeter and cross opposite ways through it. Okay. 
So now I'm ready to add my three millimeters to make my curve. So I want to do five boxes using my three millimeters. So the inside needle here, the one that's on the inside of the heart, which um, the way I'm looking down on it, I'm looking down on it this way. Um, this is my right hand needle, the inside, so I'm going to pick up a three. The outside needle picks up a four. And then with one needle, I'm going to pick up a four and I'm going to cross opposite ways through it. And I'm going to do this until I have five three millimeters that I've added here to the center. So a three on my right, a four on the left, and then I'm going to pick up a four and cross opposite ways through it. Three on the right, four on the left, pick up a four, and cross opposite ways through it. Okay, just continue. Three on the right, four on the left, pick up a four, and cross opposite ways through it. Okay, and one more time, I'm going to pick up a three on the right, a four on the left, and then pick up a four and cross opposite ways through it. Okay, so this gives me one, two, three, four, five, three millimeters here to the inside. Now I'm ready to add my sixth set of three millimeters. So inside, which is my right, picks up the three millimeter. The outside picks up my four millimeter. Now in class Saturday, this is the one that people had the hardest time with. Basically, what we want for the inside of our heart is we want to have these two four millimeters to the inside of the heart. So as you can see, I've connected here to this one. So now I want to connect here to this top one, this one here sticking out. So what I'm going to do, the easiest way to do it, is to take the inside needle, the one here to the inside, and I'm going to come through the one sticking up there, just straight through it. Now I'll take the left hand needle and come through that bead, going the other way, so now I'm going opposite ways. So that when I pull now, I actually have my heart shape. And it's going to pucker up just a little bit, and that's exactly what you want it to do. You want that puckered. So now, um, we are going to tie this thread off. So to do that, I am simply going to, I like to tie on the outside here. So I'm going to use my inside thread, and I'm going to come through a 3 millimeter next to where I'm coming out. I'm going to come through the a mid four millimeter here and then through a four millimeter here to the outside so that now my threads are exiting out right next to each other. Now I'm going to take my needles and I'm going to tie a couple of really good knots here with these threads. Once I've tied it there, I'm going to stitch through a few beads and then trim off the thread. I never trim my tails next to where I've made a knot because it, the knot, you can accidentally cut the knot or the knot can come loose and then there you are with an empty piece that's coming apart and it's just sad. So, stitch through your beads. If you want to reinforce the whole heart, you are more than welcome to. The only problem is if you go back and reinforce the whole heart again, is that you may have a hard time going through the threes when we actually connect them. So, I'm going to trim the threads now. I'll put a needle onto each end of one of my yard pieces of fire line and I'm going to make a second one just like this one. So you want to make another heart exactly like we did this one and tie it off and trim your threads. Okay, 
<clears throat> so now you should have two separate hearts that have been tied off separately and are their own independent units. And boy, I'm going to learn to actually start having my stuff in front of me when I talk because I believe at the beginning of the video, I told you you only needed 44 four millimeter bicones. <laughs> I was off by about 40. You need 84. So thankfully, that's at the very beginning on the actual materials list. But what I've done is I am taking my needle and I'm going to thread it on each end of a one and a half yard piece of fire line. Now we're going to be connecting our, our hearts together at this point. What we're going to be doing is connecting them using our inside beads. And then when we get the inside done, then we're going to be connecting it here along the outside. Now this is the easiest way I have found to do this project. What I do is I'm going to pick up one three millimeter. We're going to be using three millimeters for every um, bead we add from here on out. So I'm using my three and I'm going to let it drop. Now I'm going to lay my needles down for just a minute and I'm going to pick up my hearts and I'm going to lay them down to where they are an exact match side by side here, just like this. Now, I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit so that you can see what I'm going to be doing because it's not hard at all, but you just have to pay attention to where you're at. So, my circle, they're laid right on top of each other so that the same beads are laying there against each other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the heart here between my fingers and just kind of lay open the sides just like this so that I can see my inside beads and I'm going to take one needle I'm actually going to be starting I'm going to start at the second three millimeter here on each side so whichever it doesn't matter but you can either go through the bead going this way or this way but remember whatever way you start that's the way you have to go around the rest of the heart so I'm going to go through my three with one needle and I'm going to come to the same exact bead right across from it. So I'm going to go through the second three millimeter here right across from it. And then I'm going to put my needles together and I'm going to pull. Now when I pull, that's going to put a three millimeter right in between the two that I just went through. So you see my three millimeter added and that three millimeter is going to be laying this way. This way here. The ones that I go through are going to be laying this direction. We're going to be adding this direction. So now I'm going to lay my heart down. I'm going to take my needles and I'm going to pick up one three millimeter and I'm going to cross opposite ways through the three millimeter. Now when I pull it this time, you can, I'm going to hold it up just like this so that you can see and you can also just hold it like this so that you can see actually where you're adding the beads but you can see there that I've got my beads now in between um, and you can actually pull it apart so that you can see but I've added the beads so now the thread that's on the right side will come through the very next three millimeter there along the inside edge And then the thread here on the left side will go through the very next three millimeter here on the other edge. Okay. Make sure you get them pulled good and tight. Pick up a three millimeter, cross your needles opposite ways through the three millimeter, and pull. So now I've added another three millimeter. Now, if I fold everything back together here, I'm actually to, if I fold it down back together, I'm actually to the center point of my heart. So what I'm gonna do is I will take the needle that's on the right and I'm gonna go right down through. You see here, I've got my two fours and my two fours. So I'm going to come down through the first four here. 
and then I'm going to do the same thing with the left hand needle, but I'm going to do it on the left side. Take the left needle and go down through that first four millimeter of that set of two. Lord help, what have I done? Hang on one second, guys. Let me pull this back out and see what in the world I have done here. I just got a big hot mess going on. There we go. Okay. We go through that first four millimeter there. Okay, so got that. Now, I'm going to pick up a three millimeter cross my needles opposite ways through the three millimeter and now this time when I get to the point and I pull the threads I want to make sure to push that three millimeter down inside of the heart like I want to push it down in there and the reason being is I actually had one of my girls Saturday in our free class um, you know we went around the whole inside adding these three millimeters and when I got to looking she didn't push her three millimeter down in there and it was hard to do it once you get past that point so push it down in there and then take the needle that's on the right hand and you're just gonna go right up through that second three or second four millimeter that you had there in the center and then same on the left I'm gonna go right up through that second four millimeter that I had to the center making sure to push the three millimeter that I just added down into that center so you almost don't see it you can barely see the color down in there okay so each needle is coming out of a center four millimeter so I'm going to pick up a three millimeter onto each needle. Cross the needles opposite ways. Okay, now each needle will go through the very next three millimeter there along the edge. And remember, just keep your threads pulled nice and tight, and the center of your heart will begin to be put together. And I'm just going to go around the whole heart, picking up a three millimeter with one needle, crossing opposite ways through the three millimeter. And then going through the very next outside beads here, or the, I shouldn't say the outside beads, the very next beads here to the inside or that are in the center of my heart. So each side goes through the next inside bead. And then I pick up a three millimeter with one needle and cross opposite ways through the three millimeter. Each needle goes through the next inside bead. And this is the part, this is not hard. Like I said, this part of the process is not hard. It's just time consuming because you're having to go through and lay it down. And, and I mean, if you're comfortable doing a one needle technique, you know, to because basically what you're doing is you're doing right angle weave. So if you're comfortable with doing a one needle technique to connect, you are more than welcome to. Um, it's just everybody in class had a much simpler time on Saturday doing this two needle technique because then you really have more control over seeing which beads you're supposed to be going through and all that good jazz. But all I'm doing is just adding the three millimeters right in between each set of beads and you'll be surprised 
by the time we get done with the center and then we move to the outer edge, you're going to be really surprised at how stiff this thing is. Right now it's real flimsy and it just kind of falls to each side, but by the time we finish, um, it's very much very tight. So just keep going around, all the way around, and connect your center beads. Alright, so I have gone all the way around, adding my threes to the center of my heart, and now I'm back to where I started. This three, this three millimeter right here was the last one that I added. This three millimeter right here was the very first one that I added when I went around. So to finish out the inside of the heart, you want to go through those last two beads there, or that last bead on each side, just like you normally would. And then, instead of picking up a bead and crossing through it, I'm actually going to take and cross opposite ways through the three millimeter, which was the very first one that I added. And so I'm going to take this left hand needle and I'm going to go through the three and then once I go through the three, if I'm going to ever get it here, okay, once I go through the three, I'm going to kind of just lay this side down and I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go straight through the four millimeter that is right next to it. So just like this. And I'm going to pull through. Now I'm going to take my right hand needle here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through the crystal going the other way, that three millimeter, and then I'm going to go straight on through the four millimeter, which is right there next to the three millimeter. And pull. So now I'm completely done with the center and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press my beads flat back down to each other so now you can see all those threes there on the inside and we're ready to start adding our threes here along the outer edge. So both my needles are coming out of the same beads next to each other. And same principle as before, we're going to go through a 4 millimeter on each side. I can either go in this, that direction or coming towards me, so away from me or towards me. But whichever way you work, you need to continue to work that way. So I'm actually going to work um, away from me. So I'm going to go through the 4 millimeter right next to where I'm coming out on each side. So that the threads are coming out four millimeters that are side by side. And same as the inside, I'm going to pick up a three millimeter and cross my needles opposite ways through the three millimeter. So now it attaches those two fours. I'm going to go through a four millimeter on each side. I'm going to pick up a three millimeter, cross my needles opposite ways through that three millimeter. And we are going to go around the whole piece, going through a bead on each side. And you'll know if you've done something wrong because you won't be coming out right next to each other at each stitch. I'm going to pick up a three millimeter, cross opposite ways through it, and then go right through the next bead on each side to get into position for what I'm going to do. And you're just going to keep adding threes all the way back around until you get back to that very first three millimeter that you started with. So I've gone all the way around adding my three millimeters around the outer edge and I really really love how this heart looks and see when you add the little three millimeters it gives you a nice little point here and it gives you a nice little point there to the inside so you come up with a really pretty heart. But now just like I did to the inside this was the last 
three millimeter that I added. This is the first three millimeter that I added. So to actually finish out the heart with each side, I'm going to go through my four millimeters just like I normally would. But then instead of picking up a bead, I'm going to cross opposite ways through the first three millimeter that I added so that every box is connected. Now, if you want to make a seed bead bail, you will need to leave your threads and stitch around to where you want to hang um, your beads at or your little seed beads. But I'm actually going to take and run um, a piece of chain inside of my heart so that it hangs down to the side like this. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and tie off my thread. So I'm going to stitch through some beads. Um, I basically want to get back around to this side here. So I'm going to stitch through a four, stitch through a three, and then stitch through a four so that my threads are coming out next to each other. And I'm going to take and tie those threads into a couple of really good knots. And again, you know, if you want to stitch to another part of the heart and tie your threads off, you are more than welcome to. And once you've got a couple of knots in there, go ahead. I never cut next to a knot. So I'm going to stitch through a few of my beads with each needle so that I have a good bit of tails left inside. And then I'll be ready to trim my threads off and finish out the necklace part to my heart. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that um, just because that way I'll show you the easy way to get the, the uh, chain through. So, here is my finished heart and we're ready to do the necklace portion of it. Alright, so what I've done is I have went and got some of my chain that we sell by the yard or by the foot at our store. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see the size of this chain. Um, when you pick out your chain, I have like a 3 by 2 millimeter uh, curb length chain here. You don't want to do too much bigger than this chain. And the reason being, and I'm actually going to put a little 5 millimeter split ring next to it so you can see kind of the size of the little loops. Um, you don't want to go too much bigger than this because we're actually going to be sliding it um, between some of our crystals here. And I promise you, after you've worked so hard to get stitch this and finish it, you don't want to bust crystals on the very last step. But this is just one way that I finish it. And the easiest thing I've found to do is I will take a piece of my scrap fire line. And I'm going to run the very last link of my chain through the fire line, just like this. And then I'm going to take a big eye needle. I got my two ends of fire line together. And I'm going to take a big eye needle and thread the big eye needle through both pieces of my scrap through the big eye needle. And then pull them down to one side here. Now, the way that I like to do is, if my heart is like this, from the center, I'm going to count over one, two, from the very center, one, two, and then I'm going to stick my needle into the hole between the second and third three millimeter here. So I'm going to stick that through, and then I'm going to try to skip two, three millimeters and come up through the hole. This would be my third, fourth. So I'm going to try and come up through the hole between my fourth and fifth three millimeter. So that when you actually lay it out, this would be what you would have. So I'm going to take and I'm going to pull and I'm going to very gently pull my 
fire one and I'm going to just kind of wiggle wiggle the fire one and pull to try and get my chain inside of my heart. Now another thing that you can do is if you um, feel kind of awkward maybe pulling it through and you're afraid you're going to bust it, you can also um, before you finish it, before you finish stitching all the way around, you can lay your chain in here and then finish stitching. But, I may have actually stuck my needle through a bead. I'm trying to see what I've done here because I used the same size on the other ones that I've made. There we go. Slowly but surely it's coming. But you just have to be real gentle with it. And I'm actually going to take my big eye needle off so, or pull it down closer to the end so I don't hurt my finger. And I'm just going to pull. You want to pull that chain on through. Okay, so I've got my chain pulled through and it is centered onto, um, the heart is now centered onto the chain. So what I need to do is finish out the ends of my chain here. So I'm going to take, and I use split ring pliers to open my split rings. And basically what you do, a split ring is just like a miniature key ring. And so my cut, where the two meet, are here at the top. So I'm going to take my split ring pliers, and I'm going to press and right in between the two little and let me zoom in a little bit so maybe you can see it a little better. Maybe it won't. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here is the top of my ring. I'm going to slide the split ring pliers in. And I'm going to press. And you see it opens my loop. And now I'm going to take my little loop, the last loop of chain here. And I'm going to loop it into the split ring. And I'm going to let go. And you can use your fingers, but I use my pliers just to turn the split ring until the chain goes on it completely. So I'll have a split ring on one end. And then I put a split ring with a lobster claw attached to it on the other side. So that now, oops, sorry about that. So that now, when we finish, we have a beautiful chain necklace for our heart to go on. So it's a very simple design um, that can be worn any time of year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's 3D heart tutorial. Um, it's not a heart tutorial. You just need to take your time and really... Um, you know, watch what you're doing. Be sure, become our fan on Facebook. Um, you can find the 3mm Thunder Polish that I used today on our Etsy site. And you can check us out 24 hours a day at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. Thank you for watching my videos, and we'll see you again next week when we learn how to do St. Petersburg Stitch. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody! Mm -hmm.